Hi, it's Stephen Caleb with Brownells here at Rock Island Auction House to bring you yet another gun from the vault. And I'll bet a lot of you recognize this already, but go ahead and tell us what it is. Well, Steve, this is the 1903 Mark I Pedersen device. Very distinctive profile. Very distinctive profile. You, there's no other Springfield that has this magazine sticking out the top of it. Nothing close. But the uh, the Pedersen device itself was de designed by John Pedersen at the end of uh, World War I, and it was designed in secret. It was meant to be used in the, uh, the 1919 Spring Offensive, but as we know, Armistice came in 1918, so it never got fielded. So there were 65,000 of these made, and 64,873 of them got destroyed by 1931 after sitting in storage. So they're and, fairly rare. Yeah, they're super rare. And uh, they also destroyed 60 million rounds of ammunition with that. Uh, and also the rifles themselves. So the device is actually separate from the rifle. So let me take an attempt at removing this magazine here. and. Uh, That's tough to do. It is. The magazine system is, is not an easy thing to mess with. But I'll take it out there. And I'll show you the actual device here. All right, so if we pull this out here, we have our actual Pedersen device. Right, which but the front end looks exactly like a 30 out 6 shell. It does. This kind of resembles the uh, CMMG 22 conversion kit a for an AR-15, uh, yeah. which is basically kind of what it did. It converted this gun to shoot a pistol caliber, and this gun being a 1903 Springfield. And you can see there were some modifications that had to be made. Uh, the sear was modified. The receiver had to be cut open here to make an ejection port, and then the stock also had to be modified as well. So you can't just drop this into any 1903 Springfield. It had to be the one specifically made for this device. So as we said, it converted it. Uh, it converted it to a, a 30 Pedersen, which was a small pistol caliber cartridge. It basically converted your long rifle into a uh, pistol caliber rifle that was more suited for... That unit is like a blowback pistol is all it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And uh, the idea with this is that you know you have something you can actually fight in once you get into the enemy's trenches. The 30 um, Pedersen was uh, just like a lengthened 32 ACP almost. Yeah, and you can see from the magazine here, I'll yeah. show you the, the size. Not of, much longer. The size of the actual cartridge, so very small, but a cool idea because you know then you didn't have you know mass produced submachine guns that you could just equip a bunch of soldiers with the this 1903 Springfield was your main infantry rifle and you needed a way to convert it to something uh, that you can fire rapidly once you get inside the trenches right and I think that was the whole idea because when you look at the round it's fairly anemic and I think the idea was to have everybody just emptying their magazines at the same time and filling the air and just turning it into a hailstorm of lead Yep, that's exactly it. And the magazine system itself is not the most user-friendly. Um, I'll try to insert it here, but basically, I'll turn towards the camera. And you can see here, you have these two claws in the back, and those will actually move rearward. So I'm going to insert this magazine here and push back on those. There we go, and it's locked in. And then from here, to cock it, obviously there's no bolt handle to manipulate, so you would just pull this top piece back, let it go, and you were ready to fire. And that top piece is a piece of solid steel that's part of the blowback system. It adds weight to the system to yep. manage the recoil. Just a big chunk of steel is all it is, but that is the Pedersen device. And that wasn't the end of that cartridge, because uh, the French picked it up something very similar and put it in their 1935 pistols. That was their service round for a while. And you could argue that the 30 Super Carry isn't much more than this, to be honest with you. Yep, agreed. Yeah, so a lot of, uh, a lot of development kind of came about from this system's existence. And like we said before, it was developed in secret, uh, but once the war ended, it, it was an open book at that point. Right. Now, if you have any questions or comments, or on the odd chance you've actually had experience with one of these, please leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, we'd like to thank Rock Island Auction House for having us here and letting us look at some of this rare stuff. 
Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault. vault.